What's going on you guys and welcome back to another Luma Fusion tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna make this. So this is the closing eye point of a view effect. This effect is pretty easy to make in LumaFusion and there's no need for any third party apps. And before we move on to the tutorial, make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already, that would be highly appreciated. So without further ado, let's jump over to the iPad and create this closing eye effect. So once we get over to the iPad, we're gonna go on and start creating those closing eyes. And this works best if you have a footage or a photo underneath, so you have the indication of how it looks once you've finished with the effect. So now let's move over and create the first layer. And we're gonna create a new overlay title. So to do that, we're gonna tap on the circle with the plus inside and choose overlay title. We're gonna take this first overlay title here and stretch out and make it fit with the footage underneath. Once we've done that, we're gonna go into edit on the text layer. We're gonna go over to titles and delete your text. Then we're gonna create a new shape. This has to be oval and we can keep it like this. And we're also gonna change the color to black. The next thing we're gonna do is to scale this up so it covers the entire screen. And then we're gonna duplicate this one more time. On the duplicated part, we're gonna select the color green. Now we're gonna zoom this in, so it looks something like this. The next thing we're gonna do is to go over to color and effects, over to chroma key and choose a green screen key. We're gonna double tap on the hue range to get it centered to 40. We're gonna take the saturation range down to 70 and the next thing we're going to do is to go over to the water droplet and we're going to add a Gaussian 40. You can also change the amount of radius as you wish. And if you want this to be more blurred or less blurred, we're going to keep this around 40 for now. And uh, once we've done that, we're going to move over to frame and fit. We're going to scale this out. We're going to take the top and bottom point here and drag towards the middle like that can scale it out a little bit more. Now let's go back to the timeline and take a look at the first layer. The next thing we're gonna do is to duplicate this one more time and place this above, just like that. We can also trim this down to uh, around one second. Once we've done that, we're gonna go into edit on this uh, third layer and over to titles. And we're gonna scale the top and bottom part of this circle. So it looks something like this. The next thing we're gonna do is to move over to color and effects, over to Gaussian 40 double tap on the dot to get it back to 10. So now it's easier to see what's inside the eyelid. The next thing we're gonna do is to move over to frame and fit. We're gonna go to the beginning, make a keyframe, go to the middle, make a keyframe, and go to the end and make the last keyframe. And once we made the keyframes, we're gonna make sure that every single keyframe is set to the normal position. So we do that by tapping on the keyframes and tapping on the square box here. Once we've done that, we're gonna go over to the first one here and we're gonna scale this up so everything is visible within the eyelid. Keep an eye out for the changes in uh, opacity once you adjust this uh, lid as well and the keyframe here. And once we've done that, we can go back to the last one, scale this in and do the exact same thing. Now, once you've done that, go back to your timeline and check if there's any color changes or opacity changes uh, once you enter this third clip. Perfect. Now let's take a look at this first closing eye that we just made. 
So now that we made the first closing eye here, we can use this to create a different type of closing eyes, faster or slower, and also overlapping each other. So now let's just go on and copy the attributes, keyframes and everything. And uh, we can now simply duplicate this. And uh, let's say we want to have the eye closing together here in some way. Let's see how that looks. Perfect. So now we have the two closing eyes here. Let's say that we want to have one which is going uh, uh, slower. Then we duplicate one of them, place it where we want it to be, stretch it out to the amount of frames and the length that you want, and then paste the effects. So now we will have this going slower. A little bit too slow maybe, so we're gonna take it around there. Let's take a look one more time. Perfect. Now you can also speed this up by duplicating this one more time, adjusting the size of it to be something like that and paste the effects, zoom in, duplicate and overlap, duplicate, overlap one more time and you have something looking like this. Now you can also add this at the end of your clip as well, just like we saw in the intro of this video. And do something like this. Let's take a look. Like that. And uh, let's say we have a uh, color grading applied to this uh, clip here as well. So we're gonna apply the neon look and let's also apply some uh, type of uh, dreamy effect as well. So we're gonna go over to uh, Bloom. And uh, once we get to the end here on the last blink here, we're gonna go into the clip again and over to Bloom, once we found the eyelid here, the last one closing, here, we're gonna make a keyframe and go a couple of frames forward in time, make the next keyframe and then we're gonna adjust this back to the normal. We can go over to the LUT here as well and do the exact same thing. And take this blending to one. So now you will have the color grading dreamy effect here. And then we see the blinks. And on the last blink here, you kind of get out of that dreamy effect. So let's take a look at the uh, uh, two last parts. Here. So there you have the easy way of creating something like this, the eye closing point of view effect. You can also use this as a transition if you want to do that. Just make sure that you overlap it between two clips and maybe go into blending mode on those two clips and just do the opacity changes there as well. And if you're too lazy and you don't want to make the transition or the effect yourself, you can always go down to the Google Drive link in the description below and download everything for free. And the way that you download this is to go into the Google Drive folder and then you see three dots and those three dots is the one that you need to uh, tap on and then choose open in and then it will download and you save it to your files folder. Once you save it to your files folder, you can uh, easily go and like organize it yourself and you can also open it in LumaFusion directly and then I believe it will be saved in LumaFusion forever because this is titles or title presets. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and of course these effects as well. And make sure that you subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And until next time, make sure to create some awesome stuff in LumaFusion and I'll see you in the next video.